Kathy Hochul yesterday, just 18 days after being sworn in, loses, loses. This is a very, very big loss. Some are saying very embarrassing. 10 to 9, the vote. LaSalle does not get confirmed. I'll ask you the same question I asked Judge Napolitano. How embarrassing is this for Kathy Hochul? Well, you know, it's hard to say that it's as embarrassing for her as people are saying. I know that that a lot of people don't like a lot of her policies and that kind of thing. But think about this. The, the, the senators basically wrote a letter to her. They told her the names of judges that she couldn't pick, that right. wouldn't get through. Right. They also told her the names of, of judges that should pick. So in other words, they decided to displace the whole process on their own. She uh, went ahead and picked one of the judges, Mr. LaSalle, who I think is, is widely respected, and I think he showed why yesterday at the hearing. Then they come up with this new idea that they don't have to have the whole Senate vote, that a committee of the Senate, who they put more members on just to make sure, uh, shot her down uh, and shot her choice down yesterday. And now they're saying that the whole Senate doesn't have to confirm it, that the committee did which would be the first time I've ever heard of something like that happening in New York history. So I don't know that it's as, as embarrassing for Hochul as it is whoever had been the governor. Uh, let's say... Well, uh, well, well, let me stop. Well, let me stop you for a second, because like Melissa DeRosa, for example, on with me and Kat yesterday, even Judge Napolitano on this show earlier today, they did point the finger at Hochul. They said almost no other, other governor would this happen. They didn't make they didn't make it like a, a, a circumstance. They said it goes back to her because, quote, she doesn't have a clue. That's not fair. Well, but what, what I'm saying, Sid, is that the appointment of that particular judge, he was it, it, apparently it was not going to be whoever she appointed. 